Anybody see any pirates? Bears? Pink ugly dudes with swords? Nope. And I've still got the book, see? Hey, this is the Kremlin! We're in Russia! You put us right where we want to be! Come on, we have to find your great-great-great-grandpa Keegan. We don't have time to stand around staring at buildings. Whoa! Maybe those two know where Keegan is. Excuse me? Down with the false star! Long live Russia! Hey, what's the rush? Back! We will cut those filthy rebels in two! I bet that's Peter the Great! He looks like Peter the Furious to me! Burn! Gotta find some place to hide! Where do you think you're running to, foreigners? Um, to the bathroom? I say we torture them and find out what they know. We won't tell you a thing, no matter what you do to us. Uh, whoa! When did we agree on that? Oh, in that case, we'll just get rid of you! Ah! Be careful what you wish for. We weren't looking for trouble when we went back to Russia in 1698. We just wanted to do a favor for my grandpa, Dima. Sorry about the broken radiator. The superintendent is lazy. A cookie? Sure. I had time traveled back to interview Sam's grandpa, Dima. My great, great, great grandpa for my school report on family history. Fred just came along for the snacks. Aren't you cold, Mr. Keegan? <laughs> I grew up in St. Petersburg. Winter was so cold, the toilet would freeze. Oh, we were poor. <laughs> A tiny apartment. Grandmother slept in the cabinet. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. You don't actually believe this stuff, do you? Oh, at one time, the Keegan family was very rich. We had gold, we had silver, we even owned... The star of Lady Vostok. The what? A ruby. So big it could barely fit in one's hand. Mm. What happened to it? My ancestor, Alexander Kikin, had an argument with Peter the Great, Tsar of Russia. Peter took away everything. Luckily, Peter didn't take away his head. <laughs> But some say Kikin buried the star of Lady Bostock somewhere. Who knows? Maybe it's just a legend. I will go get some sturgeon. You kids look hungry. Okay, guys. Buried treasure, Russia, let's go. Fred, my grandpa tends to exaggerate, okay? Besides, even if there were any treasure, once we open the book, who knows where we'll wind up? We've got Samantha here. She's an old pro at time traveling. I'm sure I could get us there. See? But we can't just rush off every time we hear about buried treasure. It's not just any old buried treasure. It's the star of Vladivostok. And it belongs to you guys. And your grandpa. Don't you think he could use a little treasure? I mean, the poor guy doesn't even have any heat in his apartment. He's got a point. Well, I suppose we could just take a quick look around. Yes! Buried treasure, here we come! Aha! I found it! No! Philophyne, stop! This is not how this streltsy should be hit. What? Yeah, you heard the man. This is really, really un like What the heck are streltsy? What? You've never heard of us? We are the core of Russia's army. The rebels fighting to overthrow Tsar Peter's European reforms and bring back the days of traditional Russia. Hey, Sam, 
Doesn't he look kind of familiar? Mm, yeah, now that you mention it. Besides, they're just children. What do you know about children? You don't even have any. We have to at least interrogate them. We don't know anything, we swear. Yeah, we're just looking for a jewel. Belongs to some guy named Alexander Keegan. How could you possibly- Guards, hunt down all the rebels. Quick, hide! Go after those two. Then have the men sweep the area, clockwise. You know, like a clock. Ah, they don't even know what clocks are. Pathetic. Ah. Well, what do we have here? We're not with them. We're just sightseeing. Oh my, what a beautiful barrel. Foreigners, eh? Oh, oh well, I uh, 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 love foreigners. <laughs> Where are you from? England? Italy? Um, Brooklyn, actually. Brooklyn? Is that a seafaring nation? <laughs> it's a model of my yacht, Royal Transport. A present from the King of England. Oh, look at that narrow hull. Fantastic! I'm designing a gun frigate which will be built the same way. You're the Emperor of Russia, but you also design ships? Who else is going to do it? We don't even have a navy. Wait! Um, there's something else I have to show you. <laughs> it's for a game they play in England called tennis. <laughs> yeah, we play that too. Or at least I do. Sam here just runs after the balls. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, well... How about this? I bet you've never seen one of these. A barometer? Exactly! Brooklyn is so much more advanced than Russia. Oh, I'm not surprised. I have spent over a year traveling around Europe, collecting things and learning about the world. And I have discovered how backwards this country is. But not for long. I am going to give Russia science and technology. Then we will be rich and powerful, like Europe, only bigger! Wow. This guy has big goals. I guess that's why they don't call him Peter the OK. Yeah, but I've read some really weird stuff about him. Guard! I want the beard shaved off every man in the country by nightfall. Browse all the barbers you can find. Everyone is clean shaven in Europe. See what I mean? OK, so he's anti-beard. That's not so bad. So, what errand brings you foreigners from mighty Brooklyn to poor Russia? Actually, Your Majesty, we were hoping you could help us find a relative of ours. Alexander Keegan? Keegan, the traitor who inspires the rebels with his anti-modern ideas? Um, did I mention he's a very distant relative? He is one of the top leaders of the Streltsy. Incompetent fools, calling themselves an army. Ha! You'll see your relative soon enough. In fact, he's going to help me try one of my recent acquisitions. I brought it back from Holland. It's the latest in Gallo's technology. It's horrible! Nonsense. He's very efficient. No more backing up a horse cart under a tree. Just march them up, tie them in, and zip! I take it back. He is a freak. <gasps> He's Keegan? The guy who saved us earlier? I knew he looked familiar. See that face? It's just like Grandpa Dima's. So, Philofier was right. You were friends of Peter after all. And to think I would have escaped if I hadn't saved your lives. Guards, why hasn't this man's beard been shaved? We tried, your majesty, but he put up such a struggle. Oh, well, it doesn't matter now. Well, Alexander Kikin, do you have any final requests? I wish for you to be overthrown and for Russia to return to the old ways when we were proud uh, to be Russian. Uh, I wish for you to be Place the noose around his neck. He's boring. We have to save him. It's our fault he's in this situation. That's not all. Remember what the other Streltsy said? Keegan doesn't have any children yet. And if he doesn't have any children... Uh-oh. We won't be long!